Hello and welcome friends. Let us take a new problem in marginal costing. The data available is selling price per unit rupees 20, variable manufacturing cost per unit rupees 10 and variable selling cost per unit rupees 3. Fixed factory overheads per annum rupees 5 lakh 40,000 or 540,000 and fixed selling overheads per annum 230,000 or rupees 2 lakh 30,000. Required number 1 to find amount of profit or loss if sales are 1 lakh 50,000 units or 150,000 units. Number 2 to calculate break even point that means when whenever the term break even point is used we require to give two answers break even sales quantity as well as break even sales value whenever it is possible to calculate all the two items to calculate break even point and number of units that must be sold to earn a profit of rupees 5 lakh 60000 that means we find we need to find the sales required to earn profit of rupees 5 lakh 60000 and number three, to calculate sales or number of units that must be sold to earn a profit of 10% on sales. This is a typical kind of question. We need to find sales quantity, but the profit, that means desired profit has been expressed as a percentage of sales. So it is somewhat complicated and a primary level algebra should be used. But first of all, what we need to start in case of solving any problem of marginal costing or break even analysis or profit planning or cost volume profit analysis first of all from the available data see whether total fixed cost is available or is there any information we can find total fixed cost yes summation of these two will be the total fixed cost similarly Again examine, is there any information available to find out the contribution per unit or PV ratio? First of all, we need to find out either contribution per unit or PV ratio and total fixed cost. Only after getting these two things, we can make any calculation relevant to the chapter of marginal costing or break-even analysis or profit planning or cost volume profit analysis or decisions involving alternative choices etc etc two things rather pair of contribution per unit or and total cost or a pair of pv ratio and total fixed cost is must to have so first of all let us find out what we can find out number one we can easily find the total fixed cost so let us first find the total fixed cost that will be 540,000 or 5 lakh 40,000 plus 2 lakh 30,000 or 230,000. So total fixed cost comes to rupees 7 lakh 70,000. Yes. And similarly, from this information, we can find out the contribution per unit. Contribution equals to selling price minus variable cost. What is the definition of contribution or contribution margin? The excess of sales revenue over the variable cost is called contribution or contribution margin. It can be calculated per unit or total. Selling price is given to be rupees 20 minus variable cost 10 plus 3, 13. So the contribution comes to rupees 7 per unit. Now we have all the two things, the pair of contribution per unit and total fixed cost. So now we can calculate any damn thing in this chapter. First we need to calculate profit or loss if sales are rupees, uh, sorry, sales are 150,000 units. Number one, profit or loss on selling 150,000 or 150,000 units. That means if sales are 150,000 units, what can be the profit or loss? Okay, 
Now we have our set I formula sales equals to fixed cost means total fixed cost plus profit divided by contribution per unit. Sales is given to be 150,000 units. Fixed cost we found 770,000 or 770,000. Profit is missing. And contribution per unit we found rupees 7. So cross multiplication of units and rupees will give us the amount of total sales revenue that will be 10 lakh. Sorry, we are going to show the step 1 lakh 50 thousand units into rupees 7 equals to 7 lakh 70 thousand that is also rupees plus profit. So it is ultimately 10 lakh 50 thousand or 1 million 50 thousand equals to 770 thousand plus profit. So profit or loss comes to rupees 2 lakh 80 thousand. Since this is a positive amount, we have to treat this as a profit. So if the company or the firm makes sales of 150,000 units, it can make profit of rupees 280,000 or 280,000. Now the second thing we need to calculate is first of all break even point. Break even point, first of all let, let us calculate break even sales quantity, total fixed cost upon contribution per unit. Fixed cost means total fixed cost. In any type of calculation or analysis in costing and marginal uh, management accounting, fixed cost means total fixed cost. 7,70,000 rupees divided by rupees 7 per unit. So, the break even sales quantity comes to 1,10,000 units. Now just multiply this by selling price per unit that will give us break even sales value 110,000 units into selling price rupees 20 per unit so the break even sales value comes to rupees 22 lakh or 2,200,000 this is break even point in terms of quantity number of units and in terms of value rupees. Now what to calculate break even point and number of units that must be sold to earn a profit of rupees 5,60,000. In simple terms we need to calculate required sales. Sales required to earn profit of rupees 5,60,000 ok we have profit 5,60,000 we have fixed cost rupees 7,70,000 and we have contribution per unit rupees 7 so it is very easy to calculate it through our versatile formula of sales or required sales required sales equals to fixed cost plus profit if there is a loss, we can substitute it as a negative amount, contribution per unit. Whenever we calculate sales through this formula, we use the term required, again sales. But whenever we calculate anything else and sales is already available, we use only sales, the term sales only. Otherwise the formula, right hand side of the formula is the same thing. Rupees 7,70,000 plus 5,60,000 divided by rupees 7 per unit. This is rupees 13,30,000 divided by rupees 7 per unit. So the sales required to earn profit of rupees 5,60,000 comes to in number of units 1,90,000 or 190,000. Now a small reconciliation. 
See the break even point is 1 lakh 10,000 units. If the sales were 1 lakh 50,000 units, what can be the margin of safety? Sales minus BEP 1 lakh 50,000 minus 1 lakh 10,000, it will be 40,000. Now margin of safety is the only part of sales which gives us profit beyond BEP. Margin of safety 40,000 units into contribution per unit rupees 7, it comes to 2 lakh 80,000. That is profit on selling 1 lakh 50,000 units. Okay, similarly, BEP is 1 lakh 10,000. If sales are 1 lakh 90,000 units, the margin of safety comes to 80,000 units. Margin of safety 80,000 into rupees 7 contribution per unit that comes to 5 lakh 60,000 or 560,000 profit. So we can verify our answers in the very simple way. Now the next thing we need to calculate the amount of these sales. This is quantity. Required sales value equals to 1 lakh 90,000 units into rupees 20 the selling price. So it comes to rupees 38 lakh or 3 million 800,000. Now the last thing is somewhat special. My favorite sub question in this kind of problems. Required to calculate number of units that must be sold to earn a profit of 10% on sales. Pehle murgi ya pehle anda. We need to find out the sales. If we need to find out sales, we should have fixed amount of fixed cost, amount of profit and amount of contribution per unit. But in this case, we need to find out sales and the profit is 10% of sales. Now the amount of profit is dependent on sales. Till we cannot find sales, we cannot find out the profit. Then how can we substitute the profit in this formula? In this kind of problems, we have to use a simple standard 5 or standard 6 level algebra. Yes, let us do it. First of all, as a final answer, we need to find out the sales quantity. So let us suppose that, let the required sales quantity be x units. This is quantity in number of units. We are going to sell x number of units. The selling price is rupees 20. So the total sales value will be units into price rupees 20 x. Now profit is always expressed in terms of amount, rupees or pound or dollar or euro or anything, in terms of currency. Sales revenue or value is also expressed in terms of currency. What do we mean by the term profit of 10% on sales? Profit on 10% on sales means profit at the rate of 10% of sales value. Profit of 10% of 20x to be earned, not x, because x is quantity. We cannot express profit or loss as percentage of any quantity. So, the desired profit at the rate of 10% of sales equals to 10% of rupees 20x. Therefore, desired profit comes to 20x into 10% or 10% of 20x that is rupees 2x. x is quantity of sales. In other words, rupees 2 per unit we are going to make profit because selling price is rupees 20, its 10% is 2. That is also another way of calculating profit. Now we have required sales as x and profit as 2x. Let us substitute them into the formula. Required sales equals to fixed cost plus profit divided by contribution per unit. Sales is x units. Fixed cost rupees 7,70,000 plus profit rupees 2x 
upon rupees 7 per unit is contribution. Cross multiplication will give us, I am not going to write now rupees everywhere. Now I leave it to your understanding. 7 into x that is amount. 7 lakh 70,000 is also amount. Plus 2x is also amount. 7x minus 2x. So ultimately the equation is 5x equals to 7 lakh 70,000. So the value of x is 154,000 or 1 lakh 54,000. That means what is x? It is required sales quantity. So required sales quantity is 1 lakh 54,000 units. That means if we make sales of 1 lakh 54,000 units, the profit will be exactly 10% of the total sales revenue. Yes, required sales value will be 1 lakh 54,000 or 154,000 units into selling price rupees 20. So it comes to rupees. 30,80,000 or 3,080,000. Now, 3,080,000. It's 20%. If 10% comes to 3,80,000, it's 20% will come to what will be its amount? 10% of this is 3,80,000. Profit should be 3,80,000. This is the ultimate interpretation. Now sales comes to 1,54,000. We know that the break even point is 1,10,000. So if this sales is taken as actual sales, margin of safety comes to 44,000 units. Our contribution is 7. 44,000 into 7, 308. That means 308,000 rupees comes to profit. So this is correct calculation. Thank you very much.